Good morning everyone. I'm on the ninth tee at Lilybrook, or I will be once I walk round the corner of this shed. I'm just trying to stay out of the wind here. Winter League's going off the first, same as last winter, so you're going to see me out here on the ninth tee quite a bit. Although next weekend, I got a tee time off the first on the Saturday and the Sunday, so I can catch up with some videos. I got a ton to make. But golf is a humbling game. If I went out and played at 18 today and shot my handicap of five, I'm gonna miss four or five fairways. I'm gonna miss eight, nine, even 10 greens. I'm gonna miss a load of chips badly. And I'm gonna miss a load of putts. If you're a 28 handicap, chances are you don't hit a damn thing that you aim at. So, um, can we miss better? Regardless of our handicap, we've all got a shot shape. Might not be that reliable, but we can still use it to miss things. The left is dead here, and you might sometimes see me aiming at what I want to miss. But on the ninth, I make an exception. I most definitely want to go down the right. I'll take my driver next time instead of my wedge. With a bunker to the right of the green, we do have to miss that. Fortunately, my five wood goes pretty straight. That is right on the flag. On 10, we can't miss to the right, there's too many trees, but there is an open space at the left. So my plan is to aim at that open space and I'll try and use my shape to miss it and get it in the fairway. Stop. Going into the green, we really do have to miss the bunkers. And by hitting it fat, I miss the bunkers. That's a good, bad one. Now I've picked my spot here, as you can see the, sh the flag is on the middle shelf. And I miss my spot. So instead of being tapping, I got the thick end of 10 or 11 feet here. Fortunately, I can putt a bit. Yes. Better get close because of the wind. Right, short par three. I don't think we should ever really contemplate missing a short par three. Now this one is narrow in the front and there's four bunkers, but it's fat at the back. So I suppose our miss is gonna be in the widest part of the back. Now I got a problem. I got a two ball in front who are hitting two tee shots each and two second shots each and two putts each and a four ball behind who are moving faster than them. I'm the meat in the sandwich this is why it's so bloody hard to make videos at Lilybrook because you always come up against a couple of stupid you know what. Well there's a fair bit of wind about that's why I was taking an 8 iron into the 10th and this 8 iron went a bit far but it was in the fat part of the green so we were in exactly the right place. The 12 has out of bounds all the way down the right but that isn't a good tee shot. What I wanted was my fade. I got a horrible lie in the rough all I can do is bludgeon the hybrid up the hill a bit. It's low, it's running, it was a good choice.
Right, 13. Down the right we've got a lot of trees and it the ground slopes away over there. That is not a good miss. Equally up the left, you can certainly lose your ball in summer because the grass grows this deep. Left is where I want to be. That is my preferred miss. And should the two ball in front ever actually get out the way, I might actually get to hit this. Well, I've missed my target by some distance. With that flag position, I can't go at it. I have to miss this into the middle of the green. And that's the job done. But if I'd got at my ball in the correct place, I would have been able to go right down the flag and attack it. So that tee shot was a bad miss from that respect. Out of bounds all the way down the right. I'm taking three wood today because of the wind. And I've hit an absolutely perfect one perfect. right over the stick. Unfortunately, it's too long. And that's a little fat or a little high on the face. And we're short. Short isn't a bad miss. But when the greens are like treacle because it's winter, it really is a bad miss. Well, right is dead in those trees. So I aim down the left and try and use my shot shape to find the fairway. And that is perfect, even after a long wait. Left is dead here, so we have to aim right. But I've been stood here seven minutes. And that's what happens to when I suffer, suffer from slow play. I chip this down the green, two putt for a bogey, I can't be bothered to take the camera down, I'm in a foul mood. Don't you just love slow play? Yeah, so the game in front, both of them are walking to one ball, having a chat, then they walk to the second ball and have a chat and they're holding up a four ball behind. Now the flag is right on the front here. So the miss is to go into the heart of the green. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Right, the long par three. Now for my own personal score and the fact that I don't get a shot here, I'd like to take on that green today. But this is a video about missing. So let's pick a club and aim it at the left hand bunker down there that won't reach it. And if we do happen to block it out to the right, it's not going to reach the water either. So let's take our safe bogey. Um, although they haven't reached the green yet, so it's, it'll be a while. <laughs> Alright, maybe it was a six. Well, the bunker was marked up as GUR. The ball was right at this far end, so I got a free drop and then duffed it. Although the slope does make me look a little bit better. Finally, the 18th. But down the right hand side is all out of bounds, so we really do have to miss that. Down the left, if we hit it too straight, there's also out of bounds if you can reach the practice area. But we're not going to do that today because the ground is far too soft. 
So where you aim here will all depend on your shot shape. Now for me, I aim down at these conifer trees down the left hand side and I try and hit my little fade. And hopefully I do fade it, just a fraction. In a few minutes. So you got to plan for the miss. Now another option down here is to hit a five iron or a hybrid. I don't particularly like that option. The reason for that is if I hit, really do hit it right, my driver can go over that end tree and I can find the fairway. It's long enough. But if I'm hitting a hybrid, it's not long enough. If I hit a real stinky hybrid, I'm out of bounds. That's why I choose driver. Cheerio. Spoiler alert. I do actually block this drive a long way to the right and with a fade. Now if I hadn't been using driver, I wouldn't have made it over.